All right, welcome everybody to another series I'm deciding to do as it is the King's birthday public holiday. For me, it was yesterday. Today, it could be you for you guys. I'm not sure, but welcome to Plants vs. Zombie Heroes. Today, we are showcasing King's birthday. So I thought I'd do a bit of a cheeky surprise video with a different game. Do a bit of variety and see how we go. So today, I'll be looking at a sports type of deck. If you are new to this channel, welcome. If you don't know what this game's about, I'll explain it in just a moment. It's very similar to Marvel Snap. It has 40 cards in the deck, and you get to choose zombies instead of characters. So in this one, we've got a sports theme deck going on, mainly going around ten spawns in Night of the Living Dead, which is armored guys that transforms your little guys into them when he is played. So we're going to watch out for other aggressive type of decks, but we're going to counter that with Rocket Science, which destroys players that have four or more, and for some smaller guys we have to get stones just in case as well. Our main guard defense to start off is Planetary Gladiator, which works out very well for us, so that way it can block damage while it's armored. Armored reduces damage to this zombie one. Our extra backup Real emergencies escape through time. A zombie can't be hurt as a turn conjure history. Now, the way we're trying to win early turns is lane control. So we can try and get through the well, try and lure them in while arm wrestlers on the field, or we can do it through sumo When revealed, move a plan to this location so it buffs up the Arm wrestler, so that's a bit of synergy there. We've also got the zombies. The zombies cost one less, so a bit of ramp. And we've also got some ramping with Brain Avenger. They're very similar, like Electro and Marvel Snap, but this one gives you three plus brains this turn. Also, Conjuring card, very similar. Or Agent Thirteen when played, Conjure a sports card that cost two less. And we've also got teleporting zombie when played comes out of a gravestone and you can do zombies on tricks. So there's a bit of a different turn order. And our final tech card we've got is Bad Moon Rising. Transform all zombies into five cost cards or more, which are the big guys. And we've got a bit of brain vector, so conjure two superpowers. So this is a bit of a standard deck. I'm not gonna do a huge walkthrough in this one, but uh, for now, we're mostly celebrating the King's Bird. I thought I'd make a quick deck with Rust Bolt, our superhero. It has these five different powers. Main parish strength, with minus three, cards. draw a card. We've got a few others, healing, destroy, the plant has five or more, or rock and roll. So we get the power. So we'll see how this deck goes today. See how we go with the gameplay. If you want more of this type of gameplay, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Just made a few slight changes. I didn't see I've added to that. That is fine. Okay, so we've got King and Planetary Gladiator. It's not too bad. And we got that. That's a perfect starting hand. Pretty good. We'll see how we go. So I think I might. Hmm. What if I should start off with Planetary Gladiator? I think I'll save him for now. Let's see what he's got. Just in case he had any tricks to kill it off, that's fine. Okay, we've got our arm wrestler. We're going to play him on heights for now and see how we go. We'll save Planetary Gladiator for if we need him just yet. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of that straight away. Thank you. Very nice start from him, but no, thank you. <laughs> Rolling Stone says no. All right. Let's play Planetary Gladiator now to compete with the Pea Shooter. And we got two of the Escape Through Time, so we're pretty good here. We've got our Birthday King on the horizon, so we're in a pretty good spot to start. Depending on what he plays this turn, we can always play the next turn. Mm. 
Very nice. I think we'll burn one of these. That way he doesn't get hurt for now. Oh, we got the bronze sword. Beautiful. Okay, we've got our kin. I think we'll spend our kin for now. See how we go. This will work out very good in the long run. Only if he doesn't have any removal cards. So we'll see how this one goes for that. It seems like he's doing a bit of a bounce deck. <laughs> no kitty pride. Aha! Okay, he's doing a bit of freeze. Ah, okay. Very nice. Okay, we've got our king out. He's gonna get one armored knight from living undead. Beautiful. Then next turn. Oh, we got one of these ones. Nice. Got one of the rocket. Mondo Bronto. I think we'll just go for the Mondo Bronto this turn, to be honest. Give him a bit of pressure in the waterland. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, it's going for the pea shooters. Very nice. Okay. That's fine if he damages just a little bit. No, not too much pressure. Now they do no damage for this because this Knight of the Living Dead has got two armor instead of one. This one's got extra protection, so two power does nothing to the Knight of the Living Dead. Undead, sorry. Beautiful. The Knight Army is coming along nicely. Well, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> I'm not going to stress out about that one just yet. Due to the fact we've still got one of these to get three times. Beautiful. What a way to start. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, that was game number one. Beautiful. It's been a while, so I'm only level one, so excuse the, excuse the rank. Move on to our next game. Hey, welcome Daple Maple. Welcome to the party. Hope you all are also having a wonderful day. Oh, we've got Teacher to escape through time. Good. We'll get rid of Brain Bender for now. Double escape. No, we don't need both. Two teachers. One teacher is enough. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Okay. Bit of an interesting hand, so we'll see how we go. We're going to teach you turn one. Bit of a uh, Ricky type of hand with no other minions, unfortunately. Okay, so what turn two has to offer us. We're going to teleport, nice. We can always burn that if we need to. Apple saucer, very nice. Luckily, we can do escape through time to save our teacher. Oh, we got the Pharaoh. What the Pharaoh does is your hero's health can't go below one. So that's not too bad at all. Yeah. And we saved the trade because we protected ourselves. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we got going next turn. Oh, another apple saucer. Okay. That's on. Let's do Rolling Stone to get rid of his walnut. Is the apple saucer? Okay, even Steven, not too bad. We're a bit bricked at the moment, <laughs> but we've got a few cards that uh, could help us out. Ooh, Primal Walnut. Alright, see what we can get. Planetary Gladiator, it's not too bad at all. Always go on heights just in case they have any grand lane territories. That's what I usually presume to do. Hmm. Brainwind is good, but he's not the best right now. I'm gonna save him for Ramp for Bad Moon Rising. 
So we've got a rolling stone and we got the uh, rocket. Alright, get rid of that strawberry. That gets very dangerous later on with the berry deck. Because they have berry synergy. <laughs> okay, we're on to turn six. Oh, this is not too bad at all. Okay. So we can get going. Ooh, beautiful. Charm champion. Destroy all plants for two or less power. Or evolution. Well, let's do it. Get rid of Primal Walnut, let's go. That could have been the wrong idea, but we'll see if he's swimming the board. Uh huh, okay. Very nice. No damage, the strike through takes that. That's what that little card means. Strike through goes through your opponent's card. But we're absolutely fine there. So I think I'm going to do Brain Bender on the left side. And then I'm going to go straight into Bad Moon Rising, I think. And then from there, we're in a pretty good spot. Because he thinks this is going to be destroyed. It is not, unless he has any countermeasures. That's the only thing we need to be worried about. Ooh, Starch Lord. Okay. Bad Moon Rising time it is. Oh, beautiful. Alright, we're in the good books here. <laughs> yeah! And we got an armored card as well. Incredible. So his Fritz boss, who helps us very well. Alright, let's get all these cards out and let's go. Energy drink. Okay, that's good for swarming. That'll be good for swarming later. Okay. Body core, okay. I think we'll get rid of that for now so that we can get some more damage on the board. We'll save our healing some power for later. Do what he gets. If he gets his super, that's fine. Fortunately, it happens. Okay, body board, interesting. We'll move him over to that side. Oh, we've got ourselves a teleport, very nice. I really want to save that for now, but what I might do... I might teleport in the Pharaoh so that we can get some cheeky damage. Could put him into Spikeweed Sector. Uh huh. Very interesting. Onion rings, okay. Teleport. Let's do the Pharaoh. Very nice. Alright, we're in a really good spot at the moment. That's fine. Not too worried about healing just yet. What we can do. We can do a gravestone. Well, gravestones move him out. That way he gets no healing. Ow, this turn. Very interesting. Okay. Very tough matchup we got here. Okay. Move him here. See how we go. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully we can draw something good here. Brain vendor's not the worst. 
it's not the best either. These environments really stuff us over. Beautiful. The synergy there worked out pretty well. So that way he gets plus one, he doesn't die immediately. And they attack him. Oh, he has Walnut Bowling. Okay. Luckily we came prepared. Oh, we didn't. Apparently it does six damage, I think. That's fine. That's right. Move on to our next one. We'll do one more. Let's see how we go. I think it does six damage per lane. Alright, another Warner. Is that Dape or Maple again? Oh, that's alright. Rematch time. Beautiful. Well, we've got a bad moon rising. I might keep one for now. Keep a hearty treat. Rolling stone. Teleport's always handy. We'll keep one teleport. We have to get rid of that. Okay, good. We've got a decent hand there. So we've got Planetary Guardian again. We can do... We'll save it for now. There's no real rush just yet. Okay. That's fine. that planetary guardian out there so that way we still have our healthy treats and our escape through times. Bit of a hard deck he's playing, doing a bit of healing and body gourds. We'll try and stall a bit a couple turns. We'll see how we go. Brain Bender it's interesting. We won't use it yet. If we need to, we can always teleport something. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Doing a bit of healing, I see. Not too worried about that just yet. Another sport card out, draw a card, it's always very handy. Ooh, that's perfect for us. Sports star, this is very good for us in the late game. Destroy that. Thank you. Oh, bad moon rising, this is perfect. Need to watch out for Rose. This Rose is very deadly. Okay. Gonna try and be very careful here. If they play another small card, we're in a good book, but we need to try and keep Planetary and a Sports Star alive. Scary. Here come. Right, we've got a good start going on here for us. We'll go Brain Bender. And then we can go straight to Bad Moon Rising. Let's hope he doesn't have another flower card. He's already played at least three of these. Three little buddies. Here comes gotten pretty big. The Bad Moon Rising's gonna be pretty good here. Unless he swarms with all flowers, then there's no point. <laughs> oh, that's a flower. 
Hmm. I think I'm still going to apply it anyway. That, that's crazy damage. Let's see what we can get going. Ooh, hello. Double imp throwing guards. Beautiful. Okay, so it goes into the right lane. That's fine. Oh, nice. Look at that. Another imp. <laughs> Form the board with imps. Yes. Wonderful. This board just exploded. <laughs> Thank you, Cactus. Oh wow, double imp throwing gargs, that is incredible. The gargons all throwing in. Oh, that's fantastic, but might teleport him in. Burn a teleport here, just in case he does something nasty. Okay, hero can't be hurt. Good idea. And I think we'll heal our hero this turn as well. So that way he doesn't do any surprise walnut bowlings. <clears throat> hmm. Heal our hero. Teleport. Burn one just for now. Ooh, we got the king too. That's actually fantastic. Then we'll do the from time on the king. Oh, this is good. Okay, so we can easily get rid of that pair club for rocket science. That's absolutely fine. What we can do for now is do sports now. Okay, we can't do much with this guy, baseball no. zombie. <laughs> but it's a card on the board, nonetheless. Ooh, elderberry. Oh, we can get rid of that easy. Ugh. Oh, this is brilliant. Nice play, sir, but that does nothing for you. <laughs> yes! Rocket science comes in clutch. Boom! Boom! Oh, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. And goodbye, Pancup! <laughs> Just like that. Destroyed field. Good luck trying to get through that one, sir. <laughs> the king is back in business. King's public holiday reigns supreme. And we've got another escape through time. Oh my goodness. Okay, what do you got, buddy? What you got for us, Staple Maple? Ooh, okay, very interesting. Hmm, oh, that's very tough. Not much I can do there, they're gonna die regardless. So I think what we can do, we can try and keep that alive. I'll save it for later. I've got enough cards on the board, I don't need to worry about that. Well, he's almost down to one health. Very close. Okay, he's got a warner. Fair enough. Good I teach you, that's not bad. I think we'll just put the uh, Cosmic Sports Star there for now. And I think we'll put the tombstone in this lane and see how we go. Because we can still protect a card if we need to. Ooh, there's the dragon. Very interesting. 
Beautiful. At least we get some damage and we can get another card onto the board. Plus five damage should be five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's enough. So I think we're gonna have to do that for now. Fortunately, that does the other lane. That's scary. Oof. I'm oh, gonna bad with rising, but not enough. <laughs> oh no! Oh, this has been a very fun game, but we can't do too much at all. Hmm. but we can't do much without that. Hmm. Best case we can do this. But anything else we can't. <laughs> Unfortunately. We can still maybe beat the dragon, but we're gonna have to go through this escape through time. That's like the only way. Fortunately these spike weeds we have no Well we do have environments, we haven't got them. Fortunately we didn't get our environments. If we get a good top draw, we could do this. Like another rocket, maybe. Oh, there's another walnut bowling. No! Oh, man, this is tough. Oh, no. Yeah, he had all the answers there. Oh, we got Valkyrie, but that's not good enough. Oh, we didn't win that one. That's okay. That was a fun showcase of the king. We got him down to six health, so we did pretty good. <laughs> Awesome. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that one guys. This was a bit of a showcase, just a special video of the King's birthday holiday coming up, which was today. Uh, yesterday for me, today for you guys. Hope you enjoyed that one and I'll see you in the next one. If you want to see any more of these gameplay videos, I'm more than happy to do them in the future and I'm happy for suggestions. Until then, I might only do it maybe once a fortnight or something. Marvel Snap will continue, don't worry. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.